Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus Stone and in this video you will learn how you can easily add button to your site in Webflow. So let's start. First, let's just click here on add elements and now you want to add button. When I'm going to paste button, you will find it here and this is the first thing, how to move the button, how to send the button. I'm going to show you everything from the typography to backgrounds to borders, everything. Just watch this video whole because it's going to be really important. First, let me start with something. When you have a button text here, you don't want to just change the spacing to put it on middle. This is really bad thing because when you're going to go to mobile, it's going to be bugged out like everywhere. What you want to do, let's delete this, is to first add a container. When you're going to add container, then add a button and paste it to your container. Now you're going to click on container and then click here on display flex lace and then click on justify to the center and look at this now everything is in the middle it's not like goddamn uh goddamn <laughs> uh everywhere right so now let's start first what i would recommend is that i would change the spacing a little bit of the container to have the button you can also add the text and everything you, you got an idea now, first, uh, what I recommend is changing, scroll down to the borders and you can change easily the borders to have it like really round up. It's up to if you want it. I, I like it and that's what I would do. Now, how to change the size of it, of your button? Uh, never, ever, ever, this is my just first point, change the typography. D don't change these. If you change these two, Everything is going to be bugged out and you need to start from the from the start. Just don't do it. So what you want to do is just change the margin of your button, not of your container. Change the margin of your button. And you can do it like this. So 21, let's go with a 21. And then, so I don't know, like 18. 18. But let's choose these two, I don't know. 12, 12. Okay. So it's a little bit bigger. Now, uh, the, this is how you change the size of it. Also, if you're going to change the text, look at this. It's changing like, like the whole, whole button is increasing on size. Like, like, you know, you get an idea. So when I'm going to click on it, what I want to show you is when you go on settings, on element settings, you can link the settings of your button. You can go to the page URL of your page, or you can also add a file. So let's say I have a PDF file here. I will double click on it. Oh my God. And you can also open it in a new tab. That's pretty cool. That's pretty, <laughs> I like it. So same PDF. Okay. And let's go back and let's continue. So what we learned, you can change the size. You can uh, change the borders. You get also the background color that you want to change if you want. It's really up to you. I will like blue. I, I love a blue color. That's like my favorite color, honestly. Blue and black is, are my favorites. I know it's like completely irrelevant to the tutorial, but I wanted to share it with you. Uh, now you can also change the font. That's like, like, I don't think I need to talk to you about it. And now what I wanted to show you now, yeah, yeah, you can change also the effects, the opacity of it, of the button. That's quite simple, I think. So that's, I think probably if you have any questions, ask me down below, what do you like to learn? And I would guide you on what you can, what you can do. Yeah. I'm really thinking what else should I show you about the button? Yeah, this is how you can change the size of it. You can change the weight, the, okay, okay, yeah, and they don't recommend you to change the size. If you would also look on the tutorials, they don't recommend you to change the size and height of your button, uh, of your text there. Mm. Yeah, I will just leave it like this and you got it. So that's probably it, right? I don't know what else should I show you.
Yeah, thank you. Have a great day and see ya. And if you have any questions, ask me down below in the comments, please. Goodbye.